We've got something, but we need your help. So show us what you got with some names. We're working on flight control hardware and our own flight control software. Um, we're going to implement a ton of different strategies. My cousin designs uh, the RK5051, as you guys may or may not know. He has a bunch of other props on the way out. Um, and we're going to work closely together, and we're going to engineer an entire racing package. It's going to be all the electronics, the frame, the motors, and the propellers. Um, definitely going to take some time, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, But, you know, we're chugging away. We're working on this. But we need you guys right now. We need them. We need For you. Names. Naming. Name. Name. Like we've, a baby name. We've tried. We've, we've spent like a couple weeks just we saying couple names. really dumb ones, mostly. Yeah. And the, there's sort of been two tossed in the air mm -hmm. that's sort of stuck. One was by Ryan Gurry. He called it, he said, just name it Flight by Zachary Thayer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was classy as fuck. Mm -hmm. Sounds like But, weird. you know, Flight, all oh, that's, that's a weird name. It has to be by Zachary Thayer, though. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's flight by Zachary Thayer is the whole name. Which is a little ridiculous. Uh... The internal working names, Alpha, stop being so beta, which is hilarious to us, mm -hmm. but a terrible joke. Um, <laughs> and then we've got a bunch of vulgar ones yeah. that we're not going to say. Yeah, like Travis Flight. Oh, yeah, that one's bad. <laughs> it's good while it's flying, just when it lands. It if your last name was Rice, then we could call it the Art of Flight. We need names no. not ending in flight. Yeah. Why is it not ending in flight, Zach? Because it has nothing to do with any of the previous code bases, 100% ground up. All right, what's the first question they're going to ask us? What makes it different Why? from other ones? Oh. That's like the same question. Yeah. Cool. What makes it different? Ooh. Why and what makes it different? Um, there's definitely a couple reasons. Uh, there's a lot of different control theories that exist in the world. Me and my cousin have been for a long time wanting to test and implement different control theories. And we're at a point right now where we have enough access and ability to start doing this. Uh, we've been doing research for the past few years, and we're going to take that leap forward. We've got a whole entire hardware package. It's going to be awesome. I want to tell you guys all about it, but uh, we're still working on it, still fleshing out all the details. But basically what we're doing is we're going to minimize all the overhead, and we're going to come up with what we call an engineered solution, meaning the motors, the ESCs, the propellers, and the flight software are all engineered as a single package, so it's going to fly and perform much, much better. All right, what's the second question they're yes. probably going to ask us? When? When? Maybe. When is that happening? Uh, it's happening right now. Oh. Not. When does it come out, maybe? Uh, that's definitely a good question. I hope fully tomorrow, but that's a lie. Um, but we have... The software is definitely starting to show some great signs. We're going to be start hopefully doing flight tests in the next few weeks. And we're working on getting uh, sample development boards. We're just going to keep chugging away. But, you know, help us out as much as you can. Ask questions. Ask for features. Ask anything you have relating to this. Post it down below. Um, we were going to try to respond, I think, to every single comment in this. Try to flush out. This is an important project to me. It's something I've been wanting to work on since literally the first quadcopter I built. I sat there and I was like, why am I soldering all these parts together? They should all work together and be designed for each other. So that's what I'm working on. Sort of, uh, what do you call those dreams? Uh, Pipe dream? No, that's something. <laughs> that they, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm uh, saying? Like bucket a bucket list item? Not a bucket list, like a um, passion project. Uh, right? Uh, that's, that's probably the yeah. Thing. So this has been that sort was. of my passion project. I've ranted and raved to these guys. They've heard me say the same shit over and over. Finally, in a spot where we can do it. Yeah. And give us a name now. Yeah. There we go. So you give us a name. We pick your name. You are going to be one of the first access, first testers, and you're going to help us figure out why it doesn't work. <laughs> Lucky Cause, you! Because that's part of the not, development yeah. cycle. Anyone, you know, there's there's always a headache, there's always the growing pains, and we'll get past it. So, um, that's what you get. You get insider access. Inside. It's where? Oh, where? Who? 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 We gotta do the five W's, dude. Who? Who, what, where, when, why? Me, 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 me. And, so, well, okay. and then all the rest so, of it's gonna be done by us. Yeah. <laughs> 
Who? The team right now is me, Jordan. And me, Travis. All right, so this we, is our- We're just testers, we don't- Yeah. yeah. That's not, <laughs> there's not much more to it. Well, no, it's definitely a big part of the team. So right now the team is me, Jordan, Travis, my cousin Sage there who makes the propellers and uh, is an aerospace engineer. And we have another, I'm not sure if I should share who he is. Well, we're still looking for, you know, there's a couple of jobs that need to be filled. We have friends who can help. We got companies we're talking to. Yeah, so there's right. still some positions. So if you think you can help out with hardware or software, you're qualified, or you just want to be part of it, let us know. Uh, you know, maybe share your qualifications. And, you know, we definitely want to bring people in to help. But uh, at the same time, we're gonna chug away and get it done. Yeah. All right. Who, what? Flight control software, hardware, everything. Yeah, you're gonna get, uh, by the end of this, so uh, this, is, this is not a single project. This is actually a culmination of projects in my eyes. There will be a motor, a propeller, a frame, and electronics all built and engineered together in one system. So what we'll comes first? What comes um, first? So the first thing we're working on right now is software. The software is only going to be released with our hard, our flight control hardware. So uh, the first thing we're working on is our flight controller and the software for it. Why are you going to do it like that? Why don't you want to support everybody? What do you mean? Like all the different flight controllers. Um, so because, as I've said a couple times earlier, uh, this is an engineered product, meaning I need to have control of every single aspect of it. So. You know, there's plenty of great flight controllers out there, and maybe if I'm able to work out a deal with whoever creates them, that we will support their hardware. But at the same time, our hardware is going to be very specialized. Um, we're not using any fancy, hidden, super secret parts. Uh, they're all off the shelf parts, well engineered, well thought together. And um, really, what the goal is here is to have a controlled environment so that there is less hassle on the entire end of building and maintaining your system. Yeah, so you, you know what's going on. Exactly. Where? Where is this happening, dude? Right here! In the right basement! There. Well, actually, like, 20 feet that way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and wherever. Uh, wherever I have a laptop. When? We already did that. When? We can do it again. Soon. Soon? Yeah, so it's step by step. So it's software, flight yep. controller, see what you need to work on next, right? Um, And I don't think we're going to keep this project hidden, so uh, we will... Let's 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 do a little blog, a little update, a bi-weekly update it? on our website or something, That's a good or one. videos. It doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna try to keep you guys updated and informed. If we forget to tell you our development, bug us so we can tell you. Um, this is something I I want to do for the whole entire community. I think it's important uh, that we start pushing away from the hobby grade and start making more professional products. And lastly, why? Why? Yeah. Many reasons. Why not? Why not? Good one. And I mean, right now there's only like four major softwares out there. Yeah, right now there's not too many major developments out there on the whole entire front of engineering. And I think uh, a main re a main way to answer the why question is my cousin's an aerospace engineer, which is a huge proponent of what we're doing here. Right? We fly. We have propellers, it interacts with all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of math and engineering behind that. And we're going to work closely to engineer this as an entire product. So uh, when we first release and we first come out, we may be very similar to everyone. But this is, as I've said before, an ongoing project. It's not a one stop. Um, everything's being developed in such a way that it can grow into more than it starts as. So. Um, you know, just expect that kind of engineering being brought into it. We're gonna, we essentially, the end goal is the entire system is an equation that gets ran on the flight controller. There's not a PID controller that is exposed to the end user. It's not, it's not a basic stabilization algorithm. It is designed from the ground up to control that specific hardware in the most optimal way. So, um, you know, it's going to definitely behave different. It's going to fly different. Our goals may not be what the community's goals are. Uh, some things that I've talked about with my cousin is, you know, let's lower our top speeds, let's lower our amp consumption, and let's figure out what is the speed we need to fly to win races. 
you know, that is something that can be analyzed and solved as an, as a problem. And we can go and develop a system to that. So that's sort of what all this is stemming around is we can sit down and we can go and measure lap times, study races, figure it out, and we can make the best racing platform through engineering rather than through trial and error and exploding batteries and having to fly your equipment, you know, sort of outside the scope of where it performs best. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Could I buy this flight controller and just throw it on my whatever quad? My alien? Um, yeah, so we will support generic setups as well. Um, the way we have everything engineered right now is super simple to test and implement nearly any feature we want. Um, so we will support, uh, especially for the first releases, mm -hmm. it will support uh, any, any motor and prop combination you really want to throw at it. We're targeting a 30 amp 6L capable setup, so uh, as long as you fall within that spec, you should be able to fly on anything you can fit it inside of. Yeah, so the stuff talked about earlier was like what the final, final goal is. Yeah, Who knows yeah. how long that's gonna take. But for now, it's get flight controller working, um, get it to fly, yeah. then get it to fly well, and then start working on, so like that testing phase is gonna be you're gonna need the most help in, right? From yeah, we're gonna need a lot of help. Um, there will be some costs involved. I don't wanna to ask too much of people, obviously, but if you can help out in any capacity, we're gonna have hopefully a very small select group of testers. And if you wanna be a tester, you don't have to be an amazing pilot, but you have to have a few characteristics. If you think you're fit for the job, you know, send us a message, we'll talk about it. Um, I don't wanna just try to sit here and figure out who you are without talking to you um, but yeah we will need a set of internal testers that's very important um, and it will document and like actually be you know pinpoint what's wrong right instead of just being like oh it doesn't fly well or like yeah the stock tunes great and you watch their video and it's like yeah right? you need to know what you're looking for or what's right correct. so so if you want to help test tell us why Tell us who you are and what you can do. Um, if you have proof of it, even better. If not, that's fine. We're not looking for super highly experienced people. We're looking for very critical people. Um, that being said, when can you test it? That's a good question. That's a really good one. Uh, we're working on hardware. Hardware shouldn't take too long. Uh, it is very complicated hardware, I can say that. And we have a lot of software to go with it, but this is an ongoing development for the betterment of the entire community. All right, so comment below what name should we call it? Yeah, so... And not something flying. Well, yeah, when you're trying to pick a name, think about it. So, you know, there's a propeller, there's a motor, there's going to be a frame, and all the electronics. So it's an entire package. So there's obviously sort of a hierarchical name to this whole system. If people might ask, how do we pick? How is this fair? Oh, how is it fair? It's not fair at all. It's just we are 100% biased and judgmental, and if your name's awesome, we're gonna pick it. If it's not, sucks. Don't worry, we will argue <laughs> you with <suck>. you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the right answer. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's, know, that's, that's a good answer. Just... But at the same time, you're gonna go, well, you guys are just gonna pick a dumb one or something. No, we argue all the freaking time, like, over every little thing. Like, And a hater's gonna hate, yo. It's like, yeah. some people might like it, some people might not, but for real. Uh, how are we going to pick the name? We're, I don't know. Uh, it's not going to, I mean, I think it's just going to be like, that. that's it. That's the yeah. one. So when you, I don't know what you guys do for a living, but every now and then you probably like hear a product name and you're like, oh, that makes sense. That's a good name. So we're working to find something of that nature. Something that when you hear it, you like, it sort of triggers. It snaps. It's, it needs know, to ding. Yeah, exactly. It needs to be sellable too, so if you're gonna give us names, don't be like, call it Apple Flight Controller. Yes. That won't ever show up on Google. Like, Or we'll probably get sued. Yeah, we're gonna do random updates, right? It's not even going to be a specific day of the week or anything. It's just like, yo, we're gonna sit down and ramble again to the camera. I yeah, mean, maybe yeah. we'll be able to show you some demo or something, or something stupid. Um, or the first time it flies. Oh, that will definitely be a live stream. The first time it catches on fire. That'll be a live stream. Time. Live stream. Cool. Like and subscribe. Comment. Names.
names. Vulgar names will definitely not get you picked. It might get you disqualified. And they will definitely get a giggle out of us. Yeah. Oh, we'll laugh. <laughs> we'll laugh. But at the same time, it's like... <laughs>